the scrimmage was uh, we've got a ways to go. We we didn't uh, it, we were not where I'd hoped we'd be. After that scrimmage, I do think that uh, probably some of it has to do with I probably could have uh, scheduled um, that second week a little differently, and maybe they'd have been a little more mentally fresh. But uh, we certainly didn't for too many penalties, um, too many missed assignments, and uh, primarily mostly defensively. I mean, offensively, we did some really good things. Some of that was uh, probably um, that we did some good things, and some of it probably was that the defense didn't uh, play particularly well that day. But I still love our attitude. I'm not, uh, but I'm just telling you where we're at at at, at that mark for that scrimmage on Sunday. I'd, I'd hoped for more. Um, great thing is we we've, we've still got two weeks to uh, correct the mistakes that we made. Did you get out of it physically okay? Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I uh, didn't um, had we had uh, Deontay Anderson's got a, uh, a fracture in his uh, wrist or hand. Um, we don't expect him to miss any time. You know, may have to play with a cast, but uh, but don't expect him to miss any time. That, that's that's the only thing that came from the scrimmage. Where is he running right now? Is he getting is he with the twos? Uh, with the twos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he's, had, he's had a good camp. He's he's coming on. So we we just need him to. During this time, we certainly don't need him to, to miss out on conditioning and the mental reps that you can get while he, while he may can't. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure we'll hear today when he can actually start tackling again and everything. But With some of the young guys you're using in the secondary, you got young guys, new roles. So how, how have you all been with explosive plays and cutting those down and that sort of thing? Yeah. Our offense likes to create them, and, and certainly uh, defensively you can't give up those. And we, we've given up too many. You know, in the in the first two weeks, uh, we are very young back there. I, I forget how young we are sometimes. I mean, we're we're playing a lot of young kids. You know, in the on the back end of our defense right now, I do think they they have potential to be very good, uh, but they are young, and uh, you know, you you make one mistake against a team like the ones we have to play early on, and it can be costly. So, well, uh, Corey does a good job back there though of of getting them prepared and um, they are young though they'll make some mistakes any update on Fadal's situation uh, just uh, you know I'm not sure how that's going to play out uh, you know we've got one more treatment that I think they're attempting to try um, to get done this week and then it's just a matter if that one doesn't uh, really make him feel comfortable playing is then it's just a matter of you know how much does he want to try to go with with whatever pain he can tolerate what about dj jones what's his status he, he's he's good if fadal can't make it for florida state i mean what's the in your mind is it breeland a defensive end like how would you want to mix things up i don't know we'll figure that out as we get there <laughs> is victor your number three end right now i mean no, if Fidal were healthy camp. vicks had a good camp uh g max had a good camp Sean, uh, Sean's had a good camp, so we, we, we think we you know recruited some decent depth there. I mean, you'd love to have a senior mm -hmm. that's uh, been in the battles for you like Fadal, and you want it for him. Uh, but I, I think we've got some good good guys there too. What have you seen out of Zedra this fall? A solid player. You know, I mean, he's he's got a lot of snaps under his belt, so we're, we're depending on him not to make those mistakes back there, and he and he can play a lot of, a lot of places for us too, which helps. What do you think you'll get from Miles Hartsfield? You you talk about mistakes and young people and learning. What's what's your expectation? I guess. Uh, well, he made some yeah. uh, Sunday in the scrimmage, but he's running with the ones for a reason. I mean, we're we we've, we've got confidence in him and think he can do the job. That doesn't mean mistakes won't be made, but uh, but we've got confidence in him. Is there a leader in the left tackle competition? Or is uh, this... Rod Taylor. Okay. Yeah, Rod. Rod is uh, running with the ones and. Uh, Greg is Lil's running with the twos. Uh, Greg's going to be a good player, and uh, you know it's unfortunate that that a lot of people, uh, you know, want to compare him to Laramie Tunsil as a mm. junior. Well, Laramie didn't, you know, Laramie didn't start until I believe game four of uh, his freshman year. Greg's going to be a really good player. I mean, things are moving real fast for him, but uh, and he's got to play the game a little faster. But 
he's everything we thought he'd be. He's a really good player. His shoulders okay? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We, you guys had him down for the count. I, I don't know. I, I'll never understand uh, all of that, but uh, he, he's he's fine. What what's Rod done this fall to kind of separate himself? Uh, just an athletic guy that uh, you know playing tackles a little new for him. But he's got the athletic ability that gives us a, a chance against the type of ends we're going to play, um, you know, early on. And, uh, you know, he's, he's just one of the better athletes we have up there. Is there still the possibility that he and Breland will miss time based on their uh, disciplinary matters? Uh, unless something changes, they, they've done everything I've asked. How does Rod, I guess, profile at tackle just with the length of his arms, length of his legs? Because he's more of a interior mm -hmm. guy. Yeah, you'd love for him to be a little longer, but but his feet are great. Mm -hmm. So I'll take that out there. You know, you, you've got to have great feet uh, to play against these speed rushers that you have out there. And he's got some girth uh, for, for the power rusher. So, um, yeah, you'd love for him to be longer, but uh, I'll take his feet over that. What kind of camp has DeMarcus had? I mean, have you been pretty pleased with him? Has he done some pretty good things? Uh, Lodge. Lodge, yeah. Yes, really pleased. I think he's maturing nicely as a – a teammate, as a, as a person, and you know, been really pleased with this with this performance. When did you see a light kind of come on for him that, that he might have needed to improve in the mental aspect of the yeah. game? Uh, probably uh, spring. Um, he and I had several individual meetings, and I think any time one of our goals this year is to be um, a team that is very connected, and uh, we've done a few exercises that I think have been fun and good. Uh, throughout camp, and I kind of started them last spring with him, and, and kind of tested it on him uh, in, in some one-on-one -on -one meetings with me. And I think it's really let some walls come down and let him be transparent uh, with with where he is. And then I, uh, I created a uh, a funeral scene for for me, um, and then showed it to all our players. And the whole purpose is understanding that your whatever you believe drives your behaviors and your behaviors drive your performance and your performance will give you some result and we need to work backwards you need to say this is the result I really want now are my beliefs and are my behaviors going to get me that result so I created my funeral scene and uh, a lot of that had to do with the events of this this you know, past few weeks is coming. It, it happens. We don't know when it happens, but we won't cheat death. And um, so I wrote on the screen here at, at our commitment service, this is the result I want at my funeral. This is what I want my wife to say about me. This is what I want my kids to say about me. This is what I want our players to say about us, say about me. This is what I want my parents to say about me. And really the, the rest of the people are probably, no offense, but insignificant. Um, but is this what they would say about me today? And if not, I have a time to make sure my beliefs that are creating my behaviors are going to get me the result I want. And it's the same way with a team and the same way with football players. All right, what result do you want? Now let's go look. Uh, are your beliefs and behaviors going to get you there?